Hello, my name is Joseph Ocheme. I'm the content creator of Fearless Hub channel. I reveal the secret about Fearless Generator to you. Now, as you all know, if you check most of my previous videos which I've posted, I've posted about the amperage of the electric motor. I've posted some of the tips you need in your Fearless Generator guidance. Today, I'm going to show you a small circuit where you can use a dead uh, battery a dead DC battery that is completely dead that is giving you about 0.5 volts and you can increase it up to around 4 volts or 5 volts to power most to power some appliances some little appliances in your house so this is just a basic guideline how to make that particular socket to make it work for you here is just a test video so please put your hands in this demonstrate this it's going to work it's just a simple socket so I'm going to show you in this video. Before we go into the video, please subscribe to this video. Press the bell notification button so you can see most of my videos which I post from time to time. After this video, in my next video which I'm going to post, I'm going to show you guys what is called the drill teeth. So I use a small generator, the normal generator, you know, as I pass my neighbor generator. A very small generator that has a wattage of around 800, 800 watts. I use that particular generator to power a bigger load, a pressing ion uh, for about 1,500 uh, watts and, it's, and the generator carry it without any stress. So please watch this video, wait, wait for my next video that is coming. Make sure to subscribe so you can see my videos which is coming next. So here is the small circuit where you can do your own construction on your own. By your own self you can do the construction. So let's dive into the demonstration of the video where it is being constructed and it has been tested also by me but here is a guide on how to do it so let's go make a jewel thief with four simple components let's get started what you're going to need is a pn2222 a transistor a tarite ferrite ring and you take two wires and you put it through the tarite ring and you wrap it around inside just like this and you need about seven windings or more more the better but in this case considering the size of the ring I can only do seven and seven turns will make the magnetic field more intense and it's basically a transformer and that amplifies the electrical current so the dead 1.5 volt battery which is only 0.5 volts can be amplified to 3 volts by this electromagnetic field and there now you go and you shorten the wire and you remove the insulation of the two and now you take the two wires that are in the center and wrap them together wrap the blue and yellow wire together just like that now what you're going to need to do is take your transistor and spread the leads apart bend the base of the transistor back like that and want it to look like that. You're going to need your components to be aligned like this. So you should solder your 1K ohm resistor to the transformer, your resistor to the base of your transistor, your emitter to the negative or cathode of your LED, just like this. And now your collector to the positive or anode of your LED needs to be soldered. Now you go ahead and take your wire from your transformer and solder it to the anode of the LED. Now you want to solder those two leads together to make sure it's soldered more solid and secured. And I just soldered an extra wire just so I can make it easier for me to reach the battery. And there you have it. Your Jewel Thief circuit is completed. Now let's go test it out. I have right here a 1.5 AAA battery that I'm discharging by putting magnets on these jumper cables and then connecting 
to jumper cables to short circuit to drain the battery faster. So now I've drained the battery completely, so now let's see how much power it has left. Now I have my multimeter and I'm checking the, how much voltage it has left. Ah, as you can see it has 0.47 volts. That's very low. So I'm going to go ahead and check and show you that no, that does not power an LED. Completely impossible to power an LED. But with the Jewel Thief, it can. And there, you have the Jewel Thief lighting up at only 0.5 volts. Extremely interesting and extremely fascinating. I must admit, this is one of my favorite circuits to make. Very simple and very easy.